so this week was a for me it was a roller coaster of emotions i felt extremely vulnerable when i couldn't quite figure out how to put my thoughts out there regarding content mm -hmm. and so i basically you know went forward and what ended up happening was i got so much love from people from high school People just reaching out wanting to know that my well-being was like I was okay. Yeah, you had your real tribe like reach out to I, you. I really did, and so I feel so good. And I want to thank everybody for that. Um, I'm realizing how important it is just to be real, mm -hmm. and we're not perfect. We're yeah. vulnerable, and yeah. that's what makes us who we are. And I guess in situations like that, you realize when those people actually reach out to you, who that you the people really care. So for me, it was it was it was a really cool. Thing that happened, even though you, I, I felt like I was exposed. So you were to speak. exposing yourself. I, I it's, was. It's good because, I mean, it, uh, just rewind a few days prior to that, I was like being vulnerable, spilling my guts to you over, yeah. you know, just my own personal yeah. situation. So it's like the ability to be real and authentic, but be willing to share your vulnerable feelings is relatable for everyone. I so. think those are the drivers for you. That actually yeah. makes you who you are and adds the value to your clients. So you should, right. could you share a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I was just going to say, so I will get very personal. But I think this will be cool because we'll all share a bit about my experience with real estate and we'll be able to share yours and see how receptive people are to hearing our stories. My journey has been, I've bought several different homes over the years, had a beautiful um, reproduction cape that I adored and was in a period where I had a black swan event in my life, had sold that house, had gone through uh, being in a relationship, getting engaged, buying a new home that was really at a great price at a great time. So it's the beginning of the pandemic, still got a good, good price on a property that, you know, needed some love and all was going to be well. Um, so I get engaged, new house, you know, new life. It's going to be amazing. And then next thing you know, the relationship falls apart for whatever reason. It's an immediate shift to reassess and look at that property and understand what do we do? Because <laughs> it's not going to be two people building a house anymore. So for me, it was looking at very similar to what we do with our clients now, the value of the market, right? It was pandemic time. What could I really do from a short term and long term perspective that was going to help me and take the emotion out of the breakup and really look at the investment in and of itself. How much is too much investing in that property? Yeah, right. right. It, it, is it worth it? You know, I've got children, I've got, you know, a budget and all of this other stuff. So for me, it was looking at, you know, the investment itself, like I said, the long term play is really what I chose. You know, I wasn't going to get if I sold it backed out of the deal entirely. I was never going to buy another piece of property and that, that climate for um, the value that I could have stood to to gain by holding on to it. So I chose to hold on to it. it. Wasn't an easy process by any stretch of the imagination. It was a hard, hard, hard um, road to take, but I've learned how to build a home, uh, which I think is- It's all an education. It's freaking, it's helped me so much and opened up so many different doors. And the value is that I'm, I've gone and been able to really hone in on how much money can I spend, where to spend it, where am I going to get the right return on my dollar in this property. And I've built it up to a point where I have a lot of equity and yeah. ability to invest. So now I've gone from not only being the homeowner, learning all sorts of aspects of building and designing and all of that, which now I have a huge love for, but I also was able to begin investing in real estate. So you turned property. what ended up being a negative into a massive positive. Yeah. I right. Where somebody else could have looked at your situation and said, wow, you really got screwed. Yeah. Right. right. Or give up. Or, yeah. Oh, just but, but instead you took that and you made it a driving force in adding value to your clients going forward mm -hmm. because you've been through it. Yeah, that firsthand experience is huge. Right. Like, so I think it. I think it's probably it, looking back, it's probably a good thing. Ah, uh, and that's a very good thing. Right. Mm -hmm. So everything happens for. But not when you're in it. <laughs> no. Not it when you're the hardest not, time not, of my whole not when you're life. not when you're mired in the mud. No. Right. And you're like going your heart through it. is like ripped out of your chest, yeah. and you're still trying to figure out. how So to... what helped? So time actually helped to fix that too. 
maybe some therapy. I don't know. Perseverance. <laughs> Perseverance, um, right? It, it honestly, because I was not in real estate as a profession at that time, the amount of strength that I got from, yeah. from that situation, I had huge opportunities at work in my previous pharmaceutical career. I was involved in projects. I led projects. I worked with amazing people. So it honestly was a hugely successful, stressful and successful time in my life. I mean, I was WebExing yeah. in the garbage with five gallon buckets, yeah, like, yeah. or in the garbage, in the garage, surrounded by construction. Yeah. Cause it was like, I had to run that project plus my career, get the kids to school, but it worked. And I've gained so much from it that I think we re I think we realize that sometimes you're you know for a, a, a lack of better words is sometimes life just seems like it sucks. I I think what we need to do is kind of embrace the suck, so to speak. <laughs> and I mean that sounds crazy, but it's a, you almost you almost <laughs> you right? do you do because you, if you embrace the suck, then <laughs> you're gaining from it. You can look at every situation. Your glass is always half full. That's it. Are you going to be the it's one that's the pessimist? You can be the optimist. Yep. Like. It's your choice. Learn. Your choice. I don't regret anything I've ever done in my entire life because I can look at it and learn from it. Yep. Like it got me and to this what, moment. That's, where, that's why you're surrounded by the tribe that you are. Yeah. And your clients are going to benefit from all of your experiences and everything you're, you've learned mm -hmm. here as well. So it, it's a different perspective. And again, I just want to put it out there that we're, we all depend. You People look at a, a Krista Allen and they're like, geez, I wish I was like her. Chris is human you. too. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it, we're all in this together. And I think we just, we need to support each other. Even if that person, look, that's driving the Lambo down the street, <laughs> you know, we, they've got to figure it out. Well, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. You maybe know, and maybe that's, don't. they're just compensating for something that they're lacking. Yeah. So. Or like people in lifted trucks. <laughs> I'm going to, with the, yes. So anyway, we're in it. To, we're all, we're all here right. for each other. If anybody ever needs anything, we're here to help as well. So big yeah. hugs. And hopefully that's sharing. Right? Absolutely. So I hope so. I, you know, there's, there's all of our, I know you're about to wrap. Our sharing of our personal experiences shows the relatability side of it. Yeah, I think and so. it also shows we can walk the walk. We're human. I mean, we, we, yeah. we have an, a love for the work that yeah. we're doing and we understand how to do it because we've experienced it ourselves and, you know, quality of life is a huge huge characteristic yeah. that you can't put a dollar amount to and if you can create that and help other people create a quality of life that they really enjoy there's i, don't know, I think you're doing it purposeful work that's awesome it's the drive it is i appreciate it thank you you're welcome thank you bye